Again, we arrive at uh, Stabal and see it's a bit of a mess, total mess. I came to actually look for some Pompano and Stumpies on the right hand side and Bronze Bream in the gully there, but it's a mess. Um, the left hand side is looking nice, but I brought no heavy tackle, I just brought edible tackle. Um, but the sea is quite big here. Hasn't settled out for you now. So the thing with Stabal, it's totally different from your beaches. The beaches might settle a bit and it look lacquer. And then when you arrive here, you've got a big surge and a groundswell coming through, which you couldn't even see anywhere else. So it's a pity, but we'll scratch, scratch around a bit and uh, fish close to the rocks here and see, see what edible fish we can get, get out. I'm going to take my 11 foot 6 power spin. The ultra thin, the famous rod, and uh, just with the 4,000 saltus and go look for some bronze bream in that area. It is low tide now and it's about four days before spring. I have caught cop, cop here on the left of Stabel. Also when the water is like this, you do get the, the small shoaling cob in that area and they do pick up the prawn as well. So there could be some stumpies. The, the stone bream's here, but for that you'll need to fish a much, much smaller hook. So I'm gonna opt for a, a bronze bream trays and uh, just let's see what we can get hooked on there fishing a mustard chinu hook I think it's a number four little kingfisher bead and I'll just tie a trace out of that quick little combi shovel so I'm fishing Siglon 0.43 which is thinner than normal you would fish a 4.9 to 5.5 five. But I quite like the, the movement of this one. The bronze bream did start to move in now. It's so time to start coming in. Okay, a little 4,000. The 20 pound J braid on there. And I've tied a fluoro leader on there. Be a 0.55 or a 0.60 normally. A Siglon fluorocarbon. guys for scratching and uh, fishing for edibles in my opinion this is an essential piece of equipment now I've got some red prawns very oily from Adcan Marine and then I've got the normal head-on prawns both 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 of them fall into my favorite category here on the south coast especially fishing for for bronze breed and just generally nice scratching baits just normally take my cotton and my scissors chuck them in there and uh, we're ready to go. I want to defrost some of these prawns quickly. Okay, guys, now your hook size, size 4 This is a Chinook. I like using the wide gape carp. Number 4 as well. Very strong, strong hook. And then a 2 3 ounce sinker. I'm going to start off with one of these big fat red prawns. See what that does for us. No, it's much easier with scissors. I'll tell you that. Okay, this is the latex cotton. This is a medium, by the looks of it, in my hand. Thin works very nice for these baits. And then you can put more cotton to the top than to the bottom. You want to hold your bait onto the hook, but when they put that first bite around the hook is when you want to hook it. So that generally you want it nice and soft, smooth. Then the thing with bronze bream is casting in the right spot. So we've got two options. There's a guy fishing there, he got a bronze bream now in that gully. But gully doesn't have a specific spot, so it will be a shoal coming through. Unless you fish to the right there, at that point, or here in front in the gutter. We sometimes find bronze bream, but you get stuck here a lot. So here you have to be quite fast in lifting up your sink and coming out before you get stuck. I think because there's two guys there already, maybe I'll overthrow this side. Too 
rough, man. The sea is just too rough. Look at that, eh? still one of my favorite rockfish. Beautiful fish. This is a resident here, guys, so don't keep this. They live here. So when you catch them, let them go. Beautiful, the eyes are adapted because they're more nocturnal, more night feeders, live in the caves close in. Those little holes and caves. But uh, really nice fish, let's get him back. Beautiful. Mwah. Guys, the sea is very rough, but just as an example, what you saw me do now is wait for the water to come so there's water you can throw it on. A lot of people watch the sea and forget about the fish and just chuck it and it falls on flat rock, which is not right. <laughs> so you look for a point where you can get fairly low, still considering your safety but wait for the water to come in, to drop it in the water. That was on a normal pink prawn, there it is. Let's move on, the water is washing over here. It's bad for the camera, guys, the spray and the... So, there's more fish in this hole, but we'll come fish it when this westerly uh, settles a bit. The sea is a bit big for fishing here in Stabal and getting into the gullies and stuff. You wash a lot, but that side wash. So you look for spots which are a bit more isolated. So we're just going to move there towards Ibadine, there's some areas um, which we'll go over and throw and see. 